Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to attempt to make a weapon inventory for our player. And also last time we made this item database. What you will need is um, 5 weapon slots, I think. And the first one, or the element 0, should be empty. Since I want this one to be just like an empty item that we can place on a slot. And I also went ahead and I assigned all the other elements. Element 1 is the M4, element 2 is the double barrel, element 3 is the M200, and element 4 is the M9. So you want to have it like this, and as I said, element 0 should be empty. Now I can go to our scripts and create a new script. I will call this one player inventory. So this is what the player is carrying and in this case it's going to be um, a primary weapon, a secondary weapon and a melee weapon. So it's not a big inventory like you see in most games but it's just for the weapons. And I'm going to place this on the game controller. We're going to actually need two arrays. We're going to need one uh, with in integers and one with game objects. The one with integer integers is going to tell us which weapon we have in which slot. So let's just create a public integer array called inventory. You can see that now we have a player inventory that we're going to make in the game, but we're going to have the size of three. Element zero is going to be our primary weapon. Element one is going to be our secondary weapon and element 3 or element 2 is going to be our melee weapon. If you remember in our game controller we made in our item database sorry we made these elements that have item ID and now for example if we pick up a primary weapon let's pick up a M4 we're going to go in here and set the element 0 to the item ID of the M4 so we're going to set that to 1 and then we're going to instantiate this weapon object under element 1. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, it will once we make it. And as I said, we also need another array of game objects that is going to be called weapon slot. You can call this one weapon type also, but this is just a representation of, of these three right here just in the script. We we have to have some kind of a way to do this. There is a few ways to do this. We're going to do it probably the le least optimized way, but it's I think it's the simplest. So go under your primary game object and go add tag and we're going to add a tag primary. We're going to add a tag for secondary. We're going to add a tag for melee. And now you can assign these tags, so go to the primary game object and assign the primary tag. Go to the secondary game object, assign the secondary tag, and to the melee and assign the melee tag. Now if we go into void start, so this is whenever we start the game. First we have to tell it how many slots are there. There's going to be three, so we can just go weapon slots, the variable that we just created equals to new game object and we're going to say three, uh, 2 actually or no sorry 3 and we also have to do the same thing for the integers so go uh, inventory equals to new integer is going to be equal to 3 also and now if we click on our game controller just so we can see this let's reset this back to 0 if we play the game you can see that these arrays are made and now we can edit them in game. Also in uh, void start we want to get we want to assign the weapon slot so go weapon slot 0 so that is the first one equals to game object dot find game object with tag primary and then we can just copy and paste this two more times weapon slot 1 equals to game object the find game object with tag secondary and weapon slot to game object the find game object with tag melee like this now if we play the game these three objects right here should be in the weapon slot array 
and you can see that now these objects are assigned. This is definitely not the smartest way to do it, but since this is a beginner series and I just want you to understand how this works, we're going to do it this way, there is no need for complication right here. This is it for today, this is all we needed for the inventory, this is basically it. What I can do is delete all these objects and now it's actually, this inventory actually works since whenever we play the game, our primary weapon is zero so it's empty, our secondary is, uh, weapon is zero so it's also empty, an element or our melee weapon is also empty so it doesn't work but this is all we need to set up so we can make the pickup system that we're going to make the last time I know these last two videos have been kind of short but this is kind of the preparation and I don't want to rush it and I also have a bit of schoolwork going on so it's kind of tough but we're gonna we're gonna get through this and this is it for this video hopefully you enjoyed hopefully this helps you a little bit hopefully uh, you understand something now and I'm going to see in the next video whenever we make the pickup system. And you can go follow me on my social media. There's links to that in the description. And go support me on my Patreon. I would really appreciate that. And hopefully I'm going to see you next time. Bye bye.